Hello guys, so now we shall be discussing regarding the nerve supply of the heart. Okay, so a topic of discussion would be nerve supply of the heart. So coming to the nerve supply of the heart, right, the main nerve supply of the heart is nothing but called as your cardiac plexus. Okay, now how is cardiac plexus formed? Cardiac plexus is formed by both sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. Together they form cardiac plexus. Now within the cardiac plexus also there are two which is superficial is called as superficial cardiac plexus which is deep inside is called as deep cardiac plexus. Okay. So here cardiac plexus we have got something called as cardiac plexus. So this cardiac plexus is basically of two different types. So what are these two different types of cardiac plexus? One is called as the sympathetic, sympathetic cardiac plexus and the other one is called as a para, parasympathetic cardiac plexus. Okay. Now when it comes to sympathetic cardiac plexus, sympathetic cardiac plexus in the sense all the way from T3 till T5 is called as sympathetic cardiac plexus. Okay. I mean the sympathetic nerves they come from T3 to T5. Parasympathetic, all of you know, parasympathetic cardiac plexus is formed mainly by vagus nerve. Vagus nerve. Okay. So, vagus nerve and the branches coming from T3 to T5, together they form this plexus called as cardiac plexus. So, as I have already told you, cardiac plexus is of two types. One is called as superficial and the other one is called as a deep. Now, let us draw down here. Uh, the superficial cardiac plexus and later on I will show you the deep cardiac plexus. If you see here, before I draw cardiac plexus, all of you have to know that this diagram which I am drawing right now is your arch of iota. So arch of iota is having a bifurcation here. So this is called as a brachiocephalic trunk. And brachiocephalic trunk is dividing into two portions. This is called as a right subclavian and this is called as a common carotid artery. Okay. Next, as you go further, here you have got another, this is called as a left common carotid artery and you have got your left subclavian artery. This is your left subclavian artery. Okay. Next important thing is, here you have got your pulmonary iota. All of you know that pulmonary iota will bifurcate into two. What are these two? One is called as a right pulmonary artery and this one over here which I am drawing is your left pulmonary artery. Okay, right as well as the left pulmonary artery. So exactly above the bifurcation of the pulmonary artery, exactly above the bifurcation of pulmonary artery, here exactly you have your what cardiac plexus and this cardiac plexus is called as superficial cardiac plexus. Now within the superficial cardiac plexus, you see there are many nerves that are forming a plexus like this. Now within the superficial cardiac plexus and by the way, don't forget that there is a ligament that is all the way attached from the iota to the pulmonary artery all of you know this is called as ligamentum arteriosum right so exactly facing the ligamentum arteriosum here you have got a ganglia right this ganglia is called as cardiac ganglia where is cardiac ganglia located cardiac ganglia is located within the cardiac plexus okay it is located adjacent to ligamentum arteriosum so this one over here is called as your ligamentum arteriosum okay now first of all uh, i have drawn this cardiac plexus but how this cardiac plexus is formed we shall discuss now how this cardiac plexus is formed is that here exactly here this chain is called as sympathetic chain okay so this is located on the left side right if i'm dividing it like this so this will be your left this will be your right so where is this sympathetic chain located this is sympathetic chain is located on the left side so you call this as left cervical sympathetic chain left cervical sympathetic chain so you call this as the left cervical sympathetic chain now all the way from the left cervical sympathetic chain you have got a nerve that is coming down and it is taking part in the formation of what the cardiac plexus now, what did I tell you? I told you that cardiac plexus is formed by both sympathetic and parasympathetic. So, I have just drawn the sympathetic branch. 
okay so from the left cervical sympathetic chain you have got this nerve that is coming down and what is this nerve this is called as superior cervical superior cervical cardiac branch cardiac branch of what of left cervical sympathetic chain superior cervical cardiac branch of left cervical sympathetic chain so uh, this is the thing over here next important thing is that here you have got a nerve that is coming down here that is your parasympathetic nerve what is a parasympathetic nerve that is vagus okay now from this vagus from this vagus there is a nerve that is coming down all the way right and giving its parasympathetic contribution for the formation of this cardiac plexus now what is this nerve by name this nerve is called as internal cervical cardiac branch so what is this branch what is this branch is that all of you know that this branch over is called superior so this will become inferior superior cervical cardiac branch then this will become inferior cervical cardiac branch what will be this this is called as inferior cervical cardiac branch okay so superior cervical cardiac branch of sympathetic here it will be inferior cervical cardiac branch of parasympathetic okay that is the only difference so the superior cervical cardiac branch of sympathetic which is coming from t3 to t5 and the inferior cervical cardiac branch of parasympathetic which is coming from the vagus nerve right so this blue one is your vagus which is coming from the vagus nerve together they form this plexus this is called as cardiac plexus and this cardiac plexus is superficial so it is called as superficial cardiac plexus and within this superficial cardiac plexus you have got this ganglion over here this is called as cardiac ganglion cardiac ganglion okay so these are the important things here so this is all regarding the nerve supply of the heart guys so thank you so much for watching my video goodbye